हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर टीम थ्री एंड आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माय फ्रेंड्स टीम मेंबर्स फर्स्ट इज क्यू मनप्रीत तेजस एंड एरिस एंड आर टॉपिक इज अचीविंग कॉम्पिटेटिव सर्विंग टाइम एट डोमिनोज पिज्जा वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन माउंटेड ब्रांच डोमिनोज पिज्जा एंड देर आर सम कॉन्टेंट्स फर्स्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन then is investigation method sources of data results and analysis then discussion of results and con- conclusion and recommendations and uh, next part introduction will dis- discussed by my friend kim hi friends my name is kim uh, first of all i will introduce the uh, domino's pizza it was uh, established in the 1960 it is it is a uh, american pizza company Uh, in the year of 2003 uh, there was a first branch uh, was uh, established in the nusnet and uh, we are targeted with the mounted and branch which is located at mounted 547 mounted road and uh, that branch was established in the year of 2009 uh, domino's pizza you know you all aware of this uh, pizza company and you all have uh, pizza with this company but uh, uh we do have se- several problems and uh, solutions of that so we focus this uh, particular branch and uh, then uh, we o- uh, investigated to how to overcome that uh, come uh, problems the next part is uh, investigation method how we have started our uh, journey in this project and how we are at the end of the moment uh, first of all we have sort listed the company and uh, then uh, we have started the investigation on it and uh, by day by day we uh, gather the data we have uh, uh, in started the uh, investigation on online i have also co- contact with my manager and uh, then at the last we have here with the problems and solutions the next part uh, will be uh, sources of data will be discussed by the iris good morning everyone i'm iris today i will explain the source of data and the result and the analyze First, we can see this slide of the source of data in our term. The so first one, the data is very essential and important of this part. How can we collect the data? There are two types of data here. The first one is primary data, and the second one is secondary data. We can use the primary data collected from the employees and managers of the Domino's Pizza Mount Indian branch and also we can give some interviews of that. And the second one is secondary data we collect from the survey online research, online research and many other resources. Also we have the questionnaire on this part, but it's a little bit difficult in that one because we have issue to take many times on that. After grading all data, further investigation take place and deep. Okay. I mean, the second part is result and uh, analysis. There, there's a little bit complex in this slide. There are three, three, three main points here. The, the first one is average size. The, the second one is peak hours, and the last one is average serving time. I only pick some um, important parts of the average size. You can see obviously here Friday and Saturday. It is the highest. the customers to the Mount Eden branch to earning the only uh no, no sorry to earning 7000 7000 per day and in contrast Sunday averages a low review at only almost thir- uh 30000 and the peak hours here from Monday to Thursday it is normal time during mm, 6 pm to 10 pm but here friday and saturday it shows us the most highest peak hours from 4 for uh, 4:30 pm to 12 pm and the last one is amazing because sunday usually is the customers um, to have the popular ap- application to the multimedia branch but now but here is not 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 more than the Friday and Saturday, and the last part is average serving time. I give five points here. The first one is weekends more than weekdays. The second one is serving peak hours during the 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And the third one is at 
weekends peak hours going up to 12 p.m. So the 12 p.m. at uh, Saturday and Friday is the most most popular. And last one is the customers rise to 200 to 300 in night brush hours. So we can often say from this part that is Saturday and Friday is the most popular by customers in multi engine branch. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Diplomat of the team. I'd be using the Debono 6 as to explain and uh, do the discussion of the results. So the white hat, the white hat mainly means the facts. So we saw a huge variation in the serving time, highest revenue on Friday, Saturday, peak hours during 6 to 9 p.m. And Fridays and Saturdays receive maximum customers in a week. Yellow hat, yellow hat means the benefits. So despite variations and uh, other issues that the outlet is facing, we've still been success the company still been successfully able to serve 200 customers in a day, which is not a small number, uh, which is definitely a good job. And uh, black hat, the cautions that we have to take. So delay due to variations leads to dissatisfaction in customers. And the red hat, which are the feelings, intuitions that we get. So in a competitive market, it is detrimental to have low customer satisfaction level. And the green hat is the creativity and the methods that we'd be using in a way to base. So what, through the result and investigation that we have done, we found out that increased employees and wages is an appropriate solution. Use upgraded baking equipments, provide special training and vocation and effective supervision, etc. And blue hats would be all the thinking process that you will be doing. So thinking and planning about all the above options and implementing it towards the improvement of the outlet. And uh, conclusion, so if to condense it, if you ask me what would be the immediate step that I would, I would take to improve the performance of the outlet, these would be the first three points that would be coming to my mind. Provide proper induction and vocation training to new employees before they are absorbed into the store as employees. Increase the wages to motivate the employees and effective supervision to prevent slacking of job. And recommendations will be discussed by Monty. Thank you. Hi. As we are told about the problems, there are few problems like in uh, Dominus Pizza. Like uh, uh, in the first, uh, we have some uh, recommendations for that problem to sort out that problems. Like first is uh, increase in the number of part-time employees during the peak hours because. Uh, we saw that there are a number of uh, customers are coming in the in the period of uh, uh, weekends and the num in the period of uh, holidays. Uh, so that's why increase in the number of part-time employees uh, would be better for them. And the next is effective supervision. Supervisor is the person that who who observe that the all the activities and uh, all the employees to that how they are uh, they are working at the moment. And uh, effective supervision uh, uh, would be the best option for them. And next is make policies to improve healthy competition. Uh, as we know, the uh, competition uh, competition is increasing day by day, and uh, the uh, it, uh, Domino's Pizza's uh, uh, manager should be make uh, policies, better policies to sort out that problems. Like uh, it includes uh, like uh, strategic planning and uh, strategic management, and there are uh, some management concepts uh, they can uh, apply. Like planning, it includes the planning of finance, marketing, and uh, marketing and uh, other things like. Uh, and the next is organizing. They should divide the work, uh, works with, uh, among the uh, employees and employers and uh, provide the responsibilities and authority to uh, each and every person. And next is staffing. Staffing includes like the uh, same like a person, uh, personal responsibilities and authorities. They, they have link between each other. And the next is training. Training, uh, training must be provided to the employees and employers. Uh, so that's why they can increase their efficiency efficiency in the work. And the last point is controlling. Measurement of uh, every perform, uh, performance is very essential. So that's why it, it is the last uh, point that to control the, all the management, uh, management activities. Uh, there are some particular concepts like Q theory. People, uh, pers uh, customer who are uh, waiting in the lines that uh, to uh, to uh, to wait for the delivery and it should be applied on uh, on that problems. Uh, last one is capacity management. Uh, it includes the finance capacity and the storage capacity and so that's it. Uh, these are some references you can see on the uh, screen. And thank you. Do you have any questions? No? Thank you. Questions?
is by our classmates Kyo because he is the employees at the Eden branch so he knows about many things about uh, at here so maybe uh, he gives some the question here and interview at uh, at his work time to collect our data and give some feedback from this we actually didn't face any issues in terms of collecting data because we have an active employee who's involved in the day to day and the core activities of working of the business so he knows it by heart he's been there for 5 6 months already so we have an employee who's actually working there who knows the problems who has found it through his own findings and experience Okay, I'll yeah. give you an answer. Uh, as I'm working with the mounted in branch, uh, day to day, I'm uh, facing lots of problems like uh, in peak hours in the uh, evening, 6 to 9 is the peak hour for the usual days. In this time, whenever co uh, pay, uh, customers are coming, the customer flow is more and more uh, by time and time. At that moment, we have problems and uh, the, sometimes customers are going to be uh, cancel uh, the order, sometimes they got angry. So that reason, uh, I also asked the question after the finishing of my duty. After finishing of my duty, I stayed there and I asked the customers what kind of problems to, uh, and what kind of solutions do you have, what, uh, what are the uh, features you would like to add more to overcome this kind of problem. So uh, there was a, a section there which said that uh, Monday, Tuesday timing and then Friday or Saturday, I'm not sure, It's uh, the timing was 4.30 p.m. to 12 p.m. Uh -huh. So do you mean 4.30 p.m. in the evening to 12.30 p.m. in the afternoon or the next day? No, no. no. 30 to till Chennai. night, okay. night okay. 12. Okay. So because uh, 12 uh, on Friday and Saturday, you guys are very uh, aware about that uh, there is a party time and uh, everything. So at that moment, from the 4.30 to 5 o'clock to till night of 12, we are busy. So this is the pick out. Okay. So what's the functioning hours of the mounted in branch? Like on Fridays? Working hours? Yeah, working. Yeah, okay. From uh, 11 o'clock of morning to till night 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. Yeah, okay. um, I have another question. Yeah. yeah um, in your uh, data sources, you mentioned questionnaire and uh, interviews. So, uh, when you came to a conclusion with your recommendations, uh, is it based on your uh, is it based on your questionnaires? Interview. Interview. Okay. Because you're mentioning questionnaires, so I thought. Last question week. is only for the customers. Like they have yeah. done the questionnaires, and I have done the personal have interview have with uh, customers, uh, managers, my employees, and uh, my managers. Because there are two or three okay. uh, store managers there, okay. and rest of the managers are shift manager. So, all, whenever I got the time, and my managers are free. So I only talk with them, so what are the features, what are the problems we are facing in the current situation, how do we uh, overcome that, and uh, how we satisfy the customer on time, okay. like that. But um, what about your customers? I mean, you said you interviewed them as well, right? I mean, yeah. you gave them questionnaires yeah. as well. Yeah. Was it written or? I mean, written, written questionnaire on page. Like you okay, you've got written questionnaires as well. What do you feel and questions like that relating to okay. And I have done the personal interviews like uh, can I have a two or three minutes whenever I am on off duty. Mm -hmm. I have done this kind of uh, interviews and uh, they have given the uh, surveys and feedbacks on that. Mm -hmm. When for example I have shared <coughs> one incidents with me. Uh, I have I was on call and uh, the customer told me to get the three pizza like that and I only heard one pizza. So they have given the uh, feedback that you can repeat two or three time order. So you can avoid this kind of mistake. So this kind of mistake uh, we have to face. Okay, thanks very much. Yeah. The judges will uh, consult. Yeah.
would you happen? Would you like to start with a good point, positive point one? The positive point which I notice is, is in the presentation of them is like Squinder starts very well with a very energetic way. So that I I really appreciate for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you uh, what I noticed was the uh, results were quite viable. Uh, they did thorough observation. I mean, the observation skills were quite uh, well developed. Mm -hmm. And um, good methods for analysis, especially when it came to the 6 hard method, it was really well implemented, in my opinion. So, yeah. Um, they were very confident about the presentation. So that is a good thing, what I noticed. Yeah, um, they, they had uh, so much of content and most importantly Iris did uh, really well, her presentation was very good. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to highlight is the team actually include the timeline for their research project. <coughs> I think uh, when you're doing uh, research or any other project later on in your life, it's uh, it's very good approach. Actually, you have a timeline included. Like it's a very uh, good way to manage. And uh, when you are uh, doing these uh, projects, it's uh, the one uh, key ish, uh, elements actually can make sure that you have the final results delivered on time. That's very good. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Good. Uh, areas for improvement for the team. Mm, I have one for Manpreet. Uh, he was talking about uh, problems. Uh, he started with a problem and then suddenly he switched without describing. He said uh, like there are a number of problems then he just switched to recommendations yeah. without explaining the problem. Okay. Yeah. 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 <coughs> so when, when Iris was presenting that time all of a sudden he just changed the slide and she was got she got confused between yep. that. Yeah. So that is the you should Transition. coordinate properly of all that. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Um, as an area of improvement, I, I, I don't know, my, in my recommendation, there was uh, too much information given in the introduction and maybe let the methodology play its role and the introduction play its role separately. Rather than introducing the subject to itself, you introduce the entire project. So, mm -hmm. so I thought that could have been introduced, the number of information. Yeah. Oh, while presenting, Manpreet was too fast, <laughs> I think. <laughs> he was a little bit nervous and he was too fast in his presentation. Okay. Areas for improvement? Um, yeah, uh, just uh, based on what I said about the uh, secondary data, uh, once you guys, it's very good you guys got new knowledge uh, every day, but it's uh, very crucial if uh, you have to learn the true many of the uh, concepts one before you actually apply to it or introduce to other people. So I'm, uh, I'm addressing this to the team and also the uh, other audience as well. Uh, if it's good you learn something, but you have to make sure that you know the real true meaning of the concepts you are you presenting. Okay, that's very good. And also uh, there's a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, the plus time. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I think uh, the team has really uh, demonstrated their confidence and their, their preparation for the whole presentation. But uh, again, as the other uh, judge panel has uh, states, uh, there's uh, uh, some. Uh, Let's say uh, some interruption in the flow uh, because you guys uh, <laughs> uh, either uh, you feel nervous or either you have a little bit uh, extra information apart from the uh, uh, let's say uh, the presentation itself. But I think overall it's very good. You all had uh, done well with the uh, presentation. Yeah, well done, team. <laughs> And any more bouquets you should like to uh, throw? Any more good points for this uh, for this uh, team? Uh, actually, I do like they have demonstrated their analy uh, analytical uh, capability of doing their research. Uh, they have uh, not jumped directly from the results to recommendations, but they have included this discussion on the results section which I think is uh, pre uh, is very well done because uh, you do need to uh, investigate more on the result you have uh, gotten 
from from your uh, data collection or whatever the research you have done. Uh, that's very good. And also, you have shown your ability to summarize uh, points uh, from the phenomenon you have observed. Uh, I think that's very good. That's a very key ability to research. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. presentation was yeah, good, we'll and uh, they had enough content and information to speak on. Yeah. Um, very good answers on uh, some of the insights that well answered. learned from it, particularly uh, Iris, very good observations <laughs> of, of what she learned from the experience, um, and the, I think a great demonstration of uh, thinking hats, the thinking yeah. hats uh, technique there, and I think that's uh, maybe what uh, Wei Feng was explaining that helped you to right, we've, we've discovered what's happening now let's use this, these thinking hats to uh, uh, explore different ways of understanding how we can make some recommendations here so that was a good use of that technique there um, and um, yeah that research slide we've not seen that slide before that was a great way to help encapsulate the whole complexity of the results that we found, and so how different elements were were interrupted, uh, interconnected. So, so that was very good. So, overall, um, a great uh, presentation. Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, please uh, thank uh, thank our judges uh, here, particularly Wei Feng. Um, before before we, um, uh, I, I just want to make sure that we're ready for the final class. Um, I just want to say I feel like uh, Henry Higgins. It's one of my favourite movies. Is uh, do you know who I'm going to refer to? Anybody? Henry Higgins, Professor yeah. Henry Higgins, and My Fair Lady. <coughs> Harry Potter. Um, look it up. Look it up. It's a movie I saw when I was a kid. Um, I just see the the confidence that you have all developed in your oral presentation and language uh, from the first class, where you couldn't understand me. And I couldn't understand you. Um, I understand you, and uh, certainly uh, Wei Fang understands you. So uh, that is that is ten out of ten for building your confidence. Um, uh, excellent. Very well done on that one. I feel this great feeling by George. You you've got it, which is a quote from My Fair Lady, uh, <coughs> George Pinchot, <coughs> Pygmalion. Uh, chit-chat? No, no, no chit-chat today! Yeah. We will! Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. We operated as a company of, of teams, and I know Wei, Wei Feng has, has operated her class as a company of teams as, as well. I don't know what she's doing in her class. She now knows a little bit what's going on in this class. Uh, um, I'm delighted that Wei Feng was here today so that we can share ideas on how we can stitch these classes, a couple them more tightly together and learn from each other. Um, so that's our learning. But you guys have done a great job of learning from each other both within your teams you've learned from the other teams there's been uh, on one hand a good sense of, of rivalry and competition between the teams oh I like that idea, we'll have that um, at the other hand you seem to have been generous in helping and supporting each other so that's great that's what we have to do in New Zealand, we are small we are far away from everybody else no one's going to save us if the rest of the world uh, falls apart. Um, you have all pursued um, this project <coughs> in this course. It's a very heroic mission which you have achieved uh, with uh, a, good, a good outcome. Uh, it's, I appreciate it. It's been tough for you to come straight into New Zealand uh, get into a New Zealand company 
get into a small medium company, uh, no web, no stuff, no information, no computers, no technology, and come up with practical uh, recommendations and do observations. That is the reality of 60-70% of the companies in, in New Zealand, and if you can learn to love and enjoy working in small, medium companies and add value to those companies, come up with practical solutions, you will have a place uh, in, this, uh, um, in this country. Um, uh, you've all, all experienced real-world research. Um, Ray and I will have a conversation about this. There is, there is what we would like the way we would like to conduct the research, um, and there's the way we have to conduct it uh, in, in the practical situation of the research, and you've got some real experience of that now, and this will be helpful for you in your, in your future studies as you compare and contrast real-world research with, with the, um, the, the scholarly approach to do it. Both obviously have, have values, have value and, and important each other. We're going to have a party here on Thursday, or at least the other classroom. Um, so I'll talk a little bit more about I'll talk a little bit about that. Right. <laughs> so please thank please, please I'll talk about that party in a minute. Please thank you. Thank you.